Hello everybody and welcome back to the DCAC channel where uh, in this series we try to solve technical interview questions. So I don't know which question to choose honestly. Divisor game. Smallest range. Single number. Day of the week. That sounds kind of interesting I guess. 11.85, day of the week. Given a date, return the corresponding day of the week for that date. Uh, the input is given as three integers representing the day, the month and year respectively. Return the answer as one of the following. So, uh, so this is more or less something that I have done recently, I guess. Um, still not not super easy because i haven't done it in in pure python so let's see we know okay let's let's see the constraints the given dates are valid dates between those years so let's see what we can have in python as date date time if you are working with date time uh, Python date time uh, and there is a function that will basically string f time uh, name we want something that's basically the other way around p time and strip string p time i guess <laughs> uh, i think that was the one and yes so what do we do with that um we could create a date out of basically let's let's have an example and this would be from date time we have to import date time was it like that? It's kind of weird, but it's it's just like that. From date time, import date time, and now we are gonna print, and it will be date time, and now we're gonna use this function, and now we'll have a string, and our string would be, for example, I don't know, first of April uh, two thousand, and the format would be. And now we have to choose a format. This will be basically something like, and uh, was it for D? I guess zero padded. And I think there was another one without the zero padding. Let's see how do they give us the format. And uh, let's see. Let's see. Well, since it's an int, it will definitely not be padded with uh, zeros. Let's see. Um, day of month. Month zero padded. Um, I guess we'll have to pad it ourselves. <laughs> I don't see it anywhere here that's possible. Uh, what, what we could do? No, we cannot do anything like this. Okay. Um, yeah, and there's like, there is the ISO for format, but I don't think this is something that we'll need to do right now. So let's see. Um, we'll, be doing, we'll be doing this one. So we'll have something, for example, as 0 1st, 0 4th, right? Because for months, it will probably be the same thing. Exactly. Um, now day of the month, where's the month? Yes, okay. And so what do we do? Um, we do day slash and then basically month 
slash and then the year has four so it's basically like this uh, like this and let's see was that all that was needed okay no keyword arguments just leave it as that and as you can see we have the first of april 2000 so uh, for this given day we can actually just because it's a date time python date time day of week should be probably an uh, attribute or today weekday so basically dot weekday I think was all that was needed and uh, let's see so we can go check it right we have the first of April 2000 and 2000 would be 20 years ago come on it's been some time um, so April we have the first of April and it is five what we got because I'm assuming we are starting at um, how is it called some calendars start there was some weird naming I'm pretty sure yes they start from zero uh, where Monday is zero Sunday is six so basically at five we just have to put one more and there we have it and what do we get also calendar hmm, that's interesting they name okay um, my date weekday <laughs> that's cool so we can also import calendar uh, calendar will will help us basically print it for us and this will be basically import calendar was it like that and we have calendar day name so it's um, day name should be a dictionary that that will do the work for us so we don't really have to to implement the dictionary so let's have our solution we'll be importing these two guys and they are more or less uh, supported so I'm assuming this will work and let's see just so we don't uh, we don't get to write the whole algorithm and then be surprised at the end that this will not work I just wanted to see if that importing will work and it seems to be working so now we first have to pat pat our uh, yeah, if our day is uh, less than the tenth, then they would be getting a treatment. So basically, we'll be getting a string of day, and we'll be padding a zero string to this day. And the whole thing will be well actually we'll keep it as a string right um, else and I'm not sure yeah why not they would be well no uh, let's let's see um, Actually, I'll just have the date. It's a, it's a way simpler way to, to work with it. So we'll have date and we'll have this for the day, all right? And then we'll put the slash. We could work without the slash. I think there is some separator that's needed. So we'll have something like this. And we could also just, yeah, just have it like that like this uh, else date would be 
and just put date plus and or no <laughs> can we do something like this why not and we'll have date plus string of day plus the separator uh, actually what I'll do I'll just have this and then we'll we'll have everything else afterwards anyway so uh, now we have the month if month again uh, less than the tenth of the months from the months we'll have the date and again uh, more or less we're doing the same thing and like I said don't really copy and paste so I'll just write it so we are appending a zero and then uh, and not else I guess um, we're just gonna be doing it anyway <laughs> like this and like this and we are going to be taking the month as a string and we're going to be putting a separate afterwards and the last thing we need is to have the year and we, now we should be able to have our string let's quickly recap we have an empty string we are seeing okay uh, maybe today is less than the 10 uh, we will be putting we will be appending a, a zero at the front and then we will be taking uh, the rest of the information the separator the same treating treatment for month if the month is less than 10 we put a zero on the front and then we are uh, placing the month plus separate and then at the end of the year and now we only the only thing that we need to do is basically we're going to be returning calendar week was it week day day name day name and here we have date time we have this lovely uh, <laughs> function that you hate the first time we, we, you have to use for something very specific but I guess I, I got to use it anyway so I kind of got over that and now we'll be having our formatting which would be the day the month the month and the year it's like that and of course we want to have weekday from that and they should return us basically what they wanted as a string and let's see if that works and it works let's see what do they have they have only yeah that the years are um basically capped at 1971 2100 i don't see anything there that's problematic let's talk about anything concerning runtime well as you can see we're only doing basically three things or four or five things something like that it's like uh, a constant runtime no matter what's being given here so i'm assuming our runtime is constant our um, space complexity again super easy in this case we are only working in a single string and then yeah a single object is basically constant again so this one again for me it was way simpler maybe it's not as simple I don't know you have to tell me uh, but that I think it's very important to get used to this guy here to this library this function the documentation first time I had to use it I had to go through many of those things and it was kind of confusing it's it's weird uh, sometimes you need the European standard sometimes you don't and uh, stack overflow was my friend a lot of the times just so you guys know and yeah that's it very important library uh, just working with dates it's kind of good to kind of understand that okay I can get the weekday directly I don't have to do some crazy math on that and now I know that there is the calendar library that can also help me. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, uh, that was it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And see you next time. Bye-bye.